customize the quick access toolbar, you can see up here you've got the three default commands, save, then undo, and then redo. And the reason why you may want to add more commands to it, think of it this way. If you've got a lot of commands that you use that are on the task tab, resource tab, like the assign resources, then you have to go back to the task tab to use another command. Instead, just go ahead and put those commands up here on the quick access toolbar, and you don't have to bounce around from tab to tab to tab. Just put the more popular ones, or the ones that you use most in the project. In other words, I wouldn't put all the commands on there, but then I'm not you. In any case, to go ahead and customize the quick access toolbar and to add commands to the uh, toolbar here, you can do it one of, well, there's many ways. You can either click on the drop down arrow, and it gives you a list of the more popular commands, like, you know, creating a new project, opening up one, saving it as another project, uh, quick print. Go ahead and select one, and it adds it. So when I click on the quick print, it automatically prints what I see here. It doesn't give me a chance, though, to go ahead and uh, choose how many pages I like printed or what pages, like from 1 to 6 or 2, 4, and 5, in any case. To add more commands to the Quick Access Toolbar, click on the drop-down arrow. If you don't see it here, you can go down to More Commands, opens up this window, or Close Out. You can give it a right-click and go down to Customize, and it opens up the same window, okay? So you got a list of more popular commands, and you can go ahead and scroll through these and find one, and then go ahead, and when you see one, like uh, Format Painter, go ahead and double click on it to add it over here. And if you want to see more commands, or all the commands that are available, click on the drop down arrow and go down to All Commands. It's sorted alphabetically, well first with the numbers, and then you got the A's all the way down to the Z's. So if I scroll down to the C's, and I want to close my project, I can double click on that. That closes the project without closing the project program. So if you have a project open called My Spiffy Project, you can close out of that, but still have the shell of the program open so you can go ahead and open up other uh, projects. And we can go ahead and scroll down a little bit more. We can go ahead and double click on copy. Now, after you add the commands over to the right hand side, this is the order they're going to appear in from, well, this is top to bottom. They'll come over here from left to right. So it'll be save, then format painter, close. If you click OK, and you're like, uh, I don't like the order of that, I'd like the Format Painter command over here, then go ahead and right click on it, and go down to Customize, and then go ahead and uh, select Format Painter, and use the up or down arrows to move it down a couple here, and then go ahead and click OK, and there you go, updates it. Now these commands are pretty tight. In other words, I don't have a whole lot of room for error with this uh, pointer here, that if I don't get uh, right on top of it, and I kind of border, the other one, I click on it, you know, if it's like a delete command, it could be a boo-boo. So in any case, what you may want to consider is to customize the uh, quick access toolbar and add a separator or spaces in between these commands. Uh, for one of two reasons, either to go ahead and give you more space so you don't accidentally click on one, or to actually group them, saying, okay, like for example, let me double click to add a separator, and I can move my separators around going up or down. Then add another separator, add another separator, and go ahead and move these down. There we go. Maybe this group is for my formatting, copying, and then I'll have another group for maybe just all printing. If I have my quick print, and then I have my print preview printing options. So you see how you can um, separate those here? And you can add more separators here. Let me double click so I can have even more space between these commands. So when I click OK, let me go ahead and move this one down. So you can see the difference between two separators, how much space, and then just one. And click OK, and there you go. Separators are the lines there. So you can see you got a separator from the uh, icon there, the logo, before you hit the Save button. Then I have two separators before I hit uh, the next command. There's my group of commands, and I've got a separator for the next group of commands. Again, you can have them in groups, or you can just say, look, I want a little bit of space between me and this other command because, boy, when they get so tight together there, I've made mistakes and clicked on one command when I meant to uh, click on the other. So this gives me a little bit of spacing in between. Now to go ahead and to remove these uh, commands, including the spacers, you can just go ahead and right-click on it and say remove, right-click, remove, and just keep on removing them all or as many as you'd like. Now another way that you can add commands to the Quick Access Toolbar instead of actually just right-clicking on it and going to customizing it and opening up a window. If the command's right here and you can see it and you're like, hey, I'd like the bold command to be right up there, go ahead and right-click on the command and say add it. And it adds it right to the quick access toolbar. Sweet. So you can add it there, each individual command, or if you'd like a group to be added to the quick access toolbar, then go ahead and find a blank area within the group, like the font group, right-click on it and say add it. 
Now by default, when you add a group to the Quick Access Toolbar, it's going to choose one of the commands as its icon. So don't think that when you look at this that that's going to be the font color, because when you hover over it, it says font for the font group. And you can see over here, when you hover over that, it says font color, but it needs some sort of icon to indicate, hey, this is actually a command for a group that you got to click on, otherwise, what is it going to use? Well, it uses one of the defaults here, so when you click on it, it opens up the group. Pretty sweet. Okay, you can click off. And then, of course, you can just right click to uh, remove them as well. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.